<laughs> How you doing, Anthony Ferrari here of Create Sci-Fi. Today, we are going to take things to the next level and we are going to make a spaceship. <laughs> That's a practical spaceship. Um, I made this uh, by kit bashing, which is something that is really fun, and there's actually a very uh, interesting history behind that. Now, um, typically, um, movies from the 70s and early 80s, um, if you saw a spaceship, obviously it was going to be made by hand. Um, and uh, one technique that they used a lot is that um, they would use parts from model kits, you know, like World War tanks and battleships and and uh, things like that, and they would take the little pieces from the models, the greeblies, as some people call them, um, and use those to, to make it look like something that was uh, built by people or aliens. Um, so it's, it's a really fun thing to do. In Galactic Galaxy, I do it a lot, but I do it digitally, right? I do it in 3D. What I will do is get a couple free models or, or something that I only pay 10 or $20 for, and then you bash them, you mash them together, and you get something interesting. This kit bash, I did from the dollar store. <laughs> so I took one of my trips to the dollar store, no idea what I was going to find. Uh, I was able to find these parts, this helicopter and a few other planes. And then thinking outside the box, I, I got this stationary piece. I think it's for like holding pencils or something. In the next episode, we'll actually fly this sucker. <laughs> All right, so let's go over the build for this. It was very basic. Okay, as always, the first thing I do is lay it out in front of me and think what the fudgicles did I get myself into? So here's the pieces liberated from their packaging. So let's figure out how this goes together. I always go ahead and just make some sort of rough arrangement. These things usually do dictate how they want to go together. So first thing I start doing is just liberating these parts. I uh, cut off all the little pieces that I know I won't be using, unscrew things, start cleaning things up. And now I'm starting to realize, okay, it wants to go like this. And again, I, I sincerely mean this. It starts to tell you, okay, this is the way it's gonna have to go together and you just need to be open to that. So now I just start sanding the pieces because I'm gonna be gluing them together and eventually painting them. So this just helps uh, the plastic to accept the glue and paint better. Now I get out my favorite, my Dremel buzzsaw tool, <laughs> and I start cutting up the pieces. Now I'm just taking the sanding drum and I'm smoothing out the rough edges. And always I'm thinking, okay, okay, this goes here. And then once you put the first piece down, you build around this. And as I always say, you know, we're putting square pegs in round holes. So hot glue usually helps me to get this party started. So it's starting to come together for me. So I glue these pieces down and then the happy accidents start, right? So those side pieces, the tail fin, that's working out nicely. And now I'm just going to cut up these little jets so they don't look like little jets. <laughs> so I put the nose piece on there and now I'm just going to uh, take the greeblies and put something on the bottom. These are the pieces I have left, the wheels and the wings. And these are just going to give just a little visual interest to the bottom if it flies by and we see the bottom. And I super glue these down. I use the kicker, so that happens pretty quickly. And again, that looks kind of goofy, right? But, you know, when we put some paint on there, it'll start to fuse the whole thing together. But I am happy with that. Okay, so I have this last little piece. And right now I'm just sort of filling up gaps. I have pieces left and I have holes. And you just figure out how they go together and a little test flyby, and I feel good about that. So now I'll hit it with the black primer, which I can't wait to do because then you get a better idea what it's gonna look like. For this, I know I'm just gonna do metallic, so I just dust it with a little chrome spray paint, as you see there, just to give it a little bit of something something. So now I'm just gonna use um, some metallic silver paint and some silver rub and buff. I do a really light brushing on here, almost like a wash. I, I'm going for a translucent look, and it's basically taking that black primer and making it look like a gunmetal. And you see the difference there. Now I'm just uh, applying this all over the whole piece now. And 
again, it's giving it that gunmetal look. And another flyby. <laughs> All right, so now I get out the trusty silver rub and buff, and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingers and just hit the high points, right? You gotta be careful with this because too much is a problem, too little is awesome. And then you see the difference there. Now there's with the rub and buff, right? It just catches the light a little better. So now I finish that up and do a little light test and that looks good. So now I'm gonna hit it with a clear coat just to seal that all in. And I'm gonna add in the back vent here, I have this piece of plastic from a Trapper Keeper, right? I, and I save these things specifically for use of something in the future that I don't know. And in this case, of course, I need a little tail light. So I cut out a piece and now I'm gonna take some uh, aluminum tape just so that there's a reflective surface in there because I'm gonna bounce a very basic LED light in there that I picked up from the dollar store. It's just something I hot glue in there and then yeah and again that's just to add a little visual excitement when it flies by so here's another test flight and that looks good so here's the finished piece a little profile another flyby happy with the flybys and that light is just going to be a little detail and i'll use that to cue whatever effect i use <laughs> That was a lot of fun. And I have to thank you. Um, I've always wanted to make one of these. And what motivated me was I thought it would be something great to share with us uh, uh, on this channel. So, you know, this was my first time doing this. As always with my builds, I do these uh, pretty quickly, more proof of concept. Um, if I was going to do this for an actual film, I probably would take more time and do better seams. But, you know, we know how this works now. And I'll be doing a video next where we um, shoot this practically and comp it into outer space. And again, you know, I'm excited. I, I, I know how it works in theory and um, I'm gonna learn how to do that with you. And so we'll go on that journey together. <laughs> Well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love to read the comments. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>